Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shepherd and I'm one of the reception teachers here at Castlewood Academy. Because of the current situation, we can't do our information evening, which would normally be around this time of the year. So we thought I could do a little video that we can pop onto the YouTube channel to get that information across to you. Castlewood Academy is part of a multi-academy trust with three schools. So we have lots of important staff members working across the three schools for your child. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the key um, people who work for the three schools. So our first person is Mrs Wilson, she is our executive head teacher for the three schools. We have Mrs Willis who is our inclusion leader, we have Mr Brown who is head of Castlewood Academy, we have Mrs Taylor who is our assistant head and is also lead of early year so you might see her a little bit more often than the rest of them. We have Mr Walker who is our assistant head, we have Miss Wilson who is our office manager, we have Mrs Jones who is our safeguarding and welfare officer. We have Miss Holdsworth, who is our attendance officer, and we have myself, Miss Shepherd, who is our Snowdrop class teacher. We have Miss Fox, who is the teacher in Poppy class, and we have three teaching assistants that work across the two classes, which is Mrs. Gamage, Mrs. Hancock, and Miss Wheatland. We think Castlewood Academy is a very special place to be. We are a friendly community school that encourages people to work together for your child's education and progress. This is our sixth year of providing a high standard of education to all of our children. So we're a fairly new school. All of the adults who work here at Castlewood Academy are fully committed to providing the best education for your child. So I'm just going to quickly talk to you about the timings that are key for your child starting in reception. So at 8.30 our gates open and we do have a staggered start. So the gates are open from 8.30 till 8.50. However, it is really important that you get your children here as early as possible because in that time we set the children morning activities that are tailored to their needs. Okay, so the more time they're at school, the more progress they will make. The gates close at 8.50 and formal learning begins with phonics. At 10.30 we have snack time where the children in foundation receive free fruit and milk. At 11.50 is lunch time where the children go into the hall and they can have a packed lunch or a hot dinner and I will explain a little bit about that at a later slide. Um, lunchtime finishes at 12.45 and school finishes at 3 o'clock where you can collect your children from the classroom door. So a typical day in foundation stage. As I said before, when the gates open the children come in and complete several morning jobs. So the first one is that they have to recognise their name and post it into the box. The second job is that they have to practice writing their name and the third activity will be tailored to the child's individual need. Then we have the register and we go straight to phonics from 9 till 9.30 which is also another reason why it's really important to get your child here on time. Then after phonics we have challenge time which is the children's independent learning time and at half past 10 we have snack where as I've said before they receive a piece of fruit and milk. After that, we will, you'll normally do a small carpet input, which is usually maths or maybe PSED, and then they will have a small amount of challenge time before lunch. At 11.50, it's lunch time, and then after lunch, we do the register and have a small wake-up and shake-up or yoga session before moving into a third carpet session. The children will then have an extended period of challenge time in the afternoon, and then we'll finish the day with a story and then home time at 3 o'clock. So, attendance. At Castlewood Academy, we do have high expectations of your child's attendance. The national average currently sits at 96%, but we would like it a little bit higher. We ask that any illnesses are reported to the office by half past eight in the morning, and any absences not explained, we will be required to put it down as unauthorised. If your child has a medical appointment, please collect a form from the reception, and medical evidence will also need to be required. We believe that communication is key to building good working relationships with yourselves. We have several communication platforms that we use to get information out to you. So we have a text messaging service, service that you can get set up once your child starts. We have monthly newsletters. We have our Twitter, which is at Castlewood underscore. And we have Tapestry. So lots of you might have used Tapestry while your child was at nursery. It's a great way for us to upload observations and comments about your child's learning and you can also comment and add observations back too. Of course, we're always here to speak to you face to face and we do have an open door policy as well. 
Westerwood Academy, we do have an online payment system, which is school money. This can be used to pay for breakfast club, acorns after school club, school trips, or any other payable events. Once we've gathered all of your information, we will set you up onto school money, um, so that will all be sorted for you. At Castlewood Academy, we do have a breakfast club and an after school club. Breakfast club starts at 7.50 and has a cost of £2.50. You can just bring your child um, for that morning, there is no need to book. However, after school club runs for the end of the day and last collection time is 5.30 and that has a cost of £5. That does need to book, be booked a week in advance at the school office. All children up to the age of seven, which is year two, do get universal free school meals. A link will have been sent to you in your introduction pack, so you need to go online and book your child's meals. So, what do we ask of you between now and September? There's a few things that we just would like to ensure that you do. So, ensure all school uniform is labelled, which includes coats, tops, jumpers, dresses and any PE kits. Please ensure that your child is independent as possible when going to the toilet. Ensure children have some independence and are school ready, which includes getting themselves dressed, putting on their own shoes and feeding themselves. Make sure your child attends regularly and is on time, as I've mentioned before. And it's really useful for the children to be able to recognise their own name, because that's the first job that they need to do every single day. Over the past year, some parents at Castlewood Academy have worked incredibly hard to set up our Parent Teacher Association. The PTA organise events such as our summer fair and entertainment nights, and they have made a raise a tremendous amount of money this year. We would invite you all to join our PTA, so if you are interested, please email the email address here. So, what happens next? Because of the current situation in the world, we can't do our normal home and nursery visits. So any information that is passed on, we will have to do virtually. So our Twitter page is at Castlewood underscore, and myself and Miss Fox will be posting challenges and tweets to your children to complete from now until September. And our YouTube channel is Tall Oaks Academy, where you'll find lots of helpful information in the form of videos. Of course, if you have any other questions, we are always free to speak to at our school office. Finally, thank you so much for choosing Castlewood Academy. We are so excited to meet your child and make lots of amazing learning adventures and memories with them. We can't wait to see you in September.